Considered to be a city at sea, over 5,000 people, including Navy sailors, reside on the aircraft carrier. There is an unbelievable number of individuals that need to be fed three times, which means an unbelievable quantity of food must be eaten. The USS Enterprise is a large enterprise that necessitates rigorous organizations in addition to being a combat platform. Every sailor and staff member on board requires 17,000 meals to be made each day. The adequate provision of food for the sailors is essential since it will have a significant impact on the success of the war as a whole. So how does the US Navy supply its large number of personnel while they are at sea? Welcome to today's episode of High Technology. If you are as curious as I am how Navy sailors get their while on board, then you have come to the right video. If you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you would get updated when another mind-blowing video like this comes up. Without further ado, here are surprising ways aircraft carriers make meals for thousands of US Navy sailors. There is a lot of fresh food on board when the ship initially deploys. Frozen or canned food may be used as the fresh food runs out over the course of the weeks. But that doesn't imply the sailors won't receive any fresh food at all. The ship has an underway replenishment, a comprehensive term used to cover various methods of transporting people, supplies, weaponry, and fuel from one ship to another while the vessels are moving through the water. The aircraft carrier receives a large amount of fresh food from the replenishment ship while it is at sea and underway and the crew then repeats the process. Additionally, the ship typically has fresh food prepared for the crew to be stored when it arrives at port. A total of 93 culinary professionals produce almost 17,000 meals per day. What an insane amount! Indeed, large-scale production is used for everything. Breakfast is offered at 6 in the morning, while dinner is served at midnight. Inside the carriers, having a plan will help you achieve this very challenging objective. The cooks on board follow a 15-day meal cycle and are restocked with both fresh and dry goods once a week at sea. 1,600 pounds of chicken, 160 gallons of milk, 30 cases of cereal, and 350 pounds of lettuce can all be consumed in one day by the 5,000 crew members working on an aircraft carrier. If you think these ships hire random cooks, you would be very wrong. Culinary experts must continually prepare food, perform a variety of tasks, and go through training to learn new duties. On a ship, there is enough food in every galley. A supply ship will deliver up to 1 million pounds of food every 7 to 10 days. Regional delicacies like green feta cheese are frequently added when there is a need for variety in deliveries. The Navy makes 15 days worth of meals in advance. They include meals like Taco Tuesday and Mongolian Grill that are intended to boost sailor spirits and morale. They go out of their way to ensure that every meal is prepared to a high standard, allowing the sailors to eat well even when they are hundreds of miles from home. The crew's mood and standard of living on board a ship are strongly impacted by how well a culinary specialist does their job. Aside from that, the sailors are also being treated and appreciated well during their special days. Believe it or not, the US Navy sailors are also able to experience a luxury meal while on board. A celebratory meal with a prime rib or lobster main course replete with a tablecloth, wine glasses, and relaxing background music is provided to sailors who are stationed at sea and have birthdays that fall within a particular calendar month. Now why don't we take a closer look at how these culinary experts produce such a large quantity of food every day, shall we? A sailor must be willing to work hard, not scared to do the dirty work, and and not hesitant to put in unusually long hours to succeed as a Navy culinary specialist. Every day at 3 in the morning, they rise to prepare breakfast, which must be ready by 6. Additionally, time management is a key competency for culinary professionals in the Navy. They give good time management the ultimate significance. If they wish to meet the demand of preparing thousands of meals each day, they must make sure that every minute is productive and being used wisely. A wide range of duties are also included in each culinary specialist scope of practice. The food still needs to be properly cooked and served on schedule despite the fact that they have a variety of obligations to meet. Nothing must be compromised while having all work done at a fast pace. However, because contemporary aircraft carriers galleys are built in a way that makes cooking simple, life for culinary professionals has become a lot more efficient. We'll try to observe the design and operation of the USS Gerald R. Ford galley to get an illustration. The most recent aircraft carrier 
carrier made in America is the USS Gerald R. Ford. The galleys used by Ford are based on amphibious transport docks on the San Antonio class, which have a design that has proven to be quite successful in the past. On Ford class aircraft carriers, there are only two galleys that are operational. In order to feed the crew and sustain CVW-8, the supply department of Ford and the food service division were entrusted with creating standard operating procedures for running both the massive galleys concurrently. A central galley in the back of the aircraft serves meals to the crew chiefs and officers for three nearby sides. Serving many lines of food from one gallery ensures that the meal will be uniform throughout because the ingredients come from the same source and are being prepared by the same cooks. It enhances the general quality of the crew's meals while discouraging the fabrication of unique dishes for the various messes. The ship's two kitchens are set up along its middle line, and pallet-capable lifts located above palletized cold, dry, and frozen storage facilities serve them. Because of the vertical integration, a process wherein a cargo is transferred from the supply ship to the receiving ship using helicopters, and the presence of storerooms directly below the galley, the food service cargo crew can simply break out, freeze, and dry supplies with a relatively small amount of workforce. Vertical integration allows the food service division to operate without interfering with the ship's routine operations and significantly eliminates the requirement for large working teams of 50 to 100 workers to support cargo movements. One of the most important components of service in the US Navy has always been considered to be food. A satisfying meal was crucial in the early stages of recruitment. In the early days of America, there was a serious lack of variety in the cuisine, which made sailors' concerns about their ability to eat well a major concern. Therefore, it was important for sailors to know that they would be properly fed. Due to the physical demands of their jobs, sailors who worked on labor-intensive sailing ships burn more than 4,000 calories every day. Without a doubt, we can all agree that food was also necessary for the crew's well-being. After all, a workforce that isn't feeling well won't be able to fulfill their duties. Messes were formed to organize the crews serving on board ships in the US Navy. But in what way is this relevant? The same living space would house the sailors all together, and they would share meals there. As a result, the chef would make new meals for each mess. The mechanism and logic for providing crew food evolved together with ships increasing technical sophistication. Messes were still the primary means of feeding groups of service members, but when new ships were built, so were they in terms of size and function. The many departments on board including navigation, gunnery, engineering, deck force, etc. were a mess. In order to burn off the food, there are gyms in the hangar bay in order for the sailors to stay in good physical shape, a crucial aspect for this type of job. While caring for all the sailors on board requires a significant amount of coordination, an aircraft carrier generally provides excellent care. And that concludes today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can always get to watch more incredible videos like this. This has been High Technology serving you the best and cutting edge contents on the highest form of technology available on the planet. We'll see you on the next one.